almost every kidney high creatinine patient has low hemoglobin that is anemia this is because the signal to the bone marrow which is the production factory of the rbc's hemoglobin in the body the signal comes from erythropoietin which is produced in the kidney parenchyma so whenever the kidney is malfunctioning or disease or it is not working then the erythropoietin is not produced so even though the bone marrow is healthy the blood is not formed the hemoglobin is not formed in the body so in such cases the patients who are having a higher creatinine the nephrologist kidney doctor will check the hemoglobin cbc count also now whenever the hemoglobin falls below 10 as per the kdoki guidelines which are the international guidelines for anemia in uh, kidney patients then after we first check the iron studies in which the transferrin saturation tsat is the one which decides whether we need to first give iv iron to the patient oral iron is not completely absorbed in kidney patients high creatinine patients so iv iron is preferred and that can be given in a higher dosages of 100 mg to 1000 mg in infusions with the safer irons which are currently available previously the iron would cause anaphylactic shock or death also of the patient but current iron formulations are very safe and it is unknown currently for any patient to have problems because of iv iron infusions or injections after that once the iron has been replaced up to 1000 mg to 2000 mg in patients with anemia thereafter we also check for the stool routine microscopy occult blood for 3 days in that we come to know whether there is a leakage of small amount of blood in the stools of the person and if that is happening then that has to be investigated and that has to stop otherwise we keep on giving blood or hemoglobin or erythropoietin to the patient but he is losing in the stools so it is not going to increase the hemoglobin thereafter finally we start erythropoietin to the patient that is given around 4000 international unit twice a week or 10000 international units once a week till the hemoglobin reaches back to 10 once it goes above 10 then that is not required as per the kdoki guidelines the normal hemoglobin for a normal person is 13 to 15 that is not required in a kidney patient so in a kidney patient we target only 10 hemoglobin thereafter the erythropoietin is stopped and once it again falls back then we can restart it for a smaller time so these all aspects we have to take care whenever we have a patient with fatigue and anemia in a kidney patient who may not be on dialysis or may be on dialysis thank you